Hello everyone, welcome back to Martian Carnival, the Brazil playthrough in Surviving Mars. We got the Space Race DLC loaded. In the last episode, we got some colonists down on Mars. We are not going to hit two of the colony objectives. Uh, these are new in the DLC. Landed colonist on Mars by Soul 15. We missed it. We actually got one, I think, late on Soul 15. We're not going to get the 60 rare metals by the end of Soul 30, but we're going to go for these ones, at least. So... We're just going to keep plugging away on this one. Um, we do also have, I think somebody wanted to trade with us, but I didn't have uh, anything to trade them. I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah, we only have about 50 concrete left, so we have more being produced over here. Now, I wanted to build a second dome because we don't have electronics production here. Plus, I wanted to make sure we actually get some... Uh, I'm going to try to get some production in uh, these guys, in these rare metals uh, refineries. Again, we're not going to make the goal, but I'm still going to start exporting stuff like mad because we are playing with the artificial intelligence mystery. I have no idea when that's going to trigger, but we're going to go for it and uh, just see how it goes. We are exploring a bit on the bottom right side of this map, this whole top section has uh, nothing up right. We, we don't know what's up here. We know there's a little bit of water there. So we did get the fine water on Mars. We did not get uh, the constructed dome and first human on Mars uh, challenges done. Russia got those first, but we're going to keep plugging away on all these because a lot of research available if we can unlock them all. Oh, wow. We are full on metals there, too. Wowza. So we have four vacant work slots. And we're going to have some people uh, looking for gerbs here in a minute. But, if I'm not mistaken, I have... Oh, there's the small machine parts factories! I mentioned this in one of the early episodes. Um, if you Once you unlock 3D machining, they only take up like three hexes. I'm going to drop down a polymers factory right outside the dome. Because we need to start building polymers on Mars. Bring down some peeps. And I'm going to start working on this, second on this new dome. It's going to be just outside the range, but there's a spot where I can drop a tower right there. New right. colonists have arrived. Actually, I'm going to hold off on the water on the dome because I, I don't have water to support it right now. We only have 50 water stored between these tanks. Um, we got 105, so I'm going to turn off the refinery because we can take some of the fuel that's already stored here. Put in for the polymer depot. I'm gonna open those up. Open those up. We have five people unemployed. Oh, look! Employed! Alright. Another thing we are gonna need to get is we're gonna need to get another dome for a school. Because I've got uh, our first child, Mariana Planet. On the planet. Oh. An applicant slated to come to our colony has been enlisted as a desired applicant by a rival colony as well. Obviously by mistake. This presents us with a golden opportunity to infiltrate the colony of Russia and perform both espionage and sabotage tasks. With the proper training, Trish Sanders can do both. However, we have to act fast. This is one of the events that we get. We can also kind of fiddle around with the other colonies here. Options are send Sanders to training camp. We can't miss the opportunity. Or I don't want to antagonize our already strained relationship. I'm sending you to that. After a hasty training on our trip to Mars, our, sec our agent has successfully infiltrated our rivals, commence operations, spy games. Agent Sanders is established a communications channel with us. Initial plans are to steal any technology deemed of value. We are told to expect results within a few souls. Cool. More metal located. Awesome. Uh, just need to get some concrete over here. Hmm. We'll load it up what we got rare metals wise. Uh, what's not working here? Rare metals refinery. Okay. Okay, so we need to put a polymer depot here. Load it up. 
We got any more of our metals we can kick out yet? Nope. I'm gonna assume we got. Okay. I'm gonna drop that one to medium. And I'm gonna pack these two out here. There we go, we got some people working outside now. I'm actually gonna turn off that first shift. Oh, look at that. We're getting some food. Got medics working here, which is great, because hopefully that's going to be encouraging births in the dome. Uh, we're low in electronics, which means an electronics factory needs to be added to the mix. Alright. Polymers... Without them, we're not going to be able to build that next dome. So, dust I have. I have no pre. I have no prefabs. So I need to get a prefab for the drone hub, the electronics factory, oh, small art stores. Um, this now actually just takes up one dot. So, I'll put him right there. A little small art store. It is going to consume polymers, unfortunately, but there's not much I can do on that front. So, we do get small things now, which is great, especially in these tiny domes. Small space bar. This is actually, like, I think, uh, I don't think we get a small electronic store. But... It just really makes things easier, I think, for us. We have a large gardens, which take up a full triangle now. Okay, we have four, four vacant residence slots and 11 vacant work slots. I'm going to wait till this shift ends, and then I'm going to cancel the second shift on this, on this lab. Research-wise, we're almost done with the Earth-Mars initiative. That's going to kick us up with some more, uh... Not much I can do there. Alright. Um... Funding received. Yeah, money! Alright, so... Just going to keep scanning. At some point, we're going to find... Some stuff we can actually use. Because I'm not, again, this is the only water deposit. I found these two deposits, so everything I'm creating is via Vaporator at this moment, at this point. Alright, we need polymers and electronics. Uh, Japan is offering 32.5 metal for 50. Okay, so we need to actually get a rocket up here. In that case, we'll order up a cargo rocket to get those prefabs we want up here. Bone Hub, Electronics Factory. I guess another Vaporator. Um, yeah. I'm going to launch that, and then I'm going to... You know, we've got plenty of that, but at the same time, might as well get some trading going because... We want to increase our standing with the colonies. In fact, I'm going to contact this one. Um, not available for another day. Uh, they will send 50 polymers in exchange for 1,250 research. It's not terrible. Research complete. All right, we've got a little bit more research now. So decommission protocol, we're back on that one now. Uh, what do we unlock with that? Indome building, sustainable architecture. That's actually a huge one for us we could utilize. Uh, engineers and geologists uh, getting a bonus. Want to get that one going too. Almost need powered storage just to take care of all the metals that we're collecting here. Alright, so we got some extra stuff coming down. Let's, uh, 
Well, we need the dome. Uh, we need the drone hub before we can build the dome Resources over here. Are low. Weird, I know. This is why I want to get uh, more mining, especially if I had some water. This would be perfect for us. There we go. Storage space is full for the concrete. Let's drop a depot there. There isn't much left in this one. In fact, it's almost wiped out. Uh, engineering pro decommission protocol, once it's done, we can uh, get rid of that and be fine with it. For Japan, since we have the extra concrete available, I'd be more than happy to ship some to them. That's from... That's con... That's concrete. Whoops. I'm going to put the concrete here. And then... Resources are low. Put the metals here. Huh? Slowly increasing the quality of food. Yeah, so you're good. You're useless to me now. I don't have nano refinement. I don't have the nano refinement breakthrough, so it doesn't make any sense to keep working with that one. Plenty of concrete up here. All right, we've got a small surplus in water right now, so we're filling things up nice and good. Hmm. Actually, keep it. Let's see. What's the radius on that guy? He's up there. I, think I can get away here. Get there. Doing that. Bring this guy down. So, no way I'm going to make it, but we're going to keep going. We'll put another dome here. Uh, we're short on polymers. We have plenty of metals and concrete. It is outside this drone hub's range, but I'm going to put one right here, and we'll be good to go. I'm going to kind of tuck it up against this dome, if I'm honest. Just so there's plenty of overlap. And we also have another vaporator available to us. Damn, I said poor stuff here. Ooh! Operation Spy Games has delivered its first results. A huge data package revealing a new tech to us has been sent by our agent. Trish Sanders evaluates she is well in the clear and hasn't attracted any suspicion. Meanwhile, a new opportunity has directly, directly presented itself... Two large cargo deliveries are planned to happen in the next week with a three-soul gap between them. Agent Sanders has gained access to their landing guidance software and can reroute one of the deliveries to make it look like a malfunction. Some preparation is required. The hastier the operation, the bigger the risk. Alright. Um, act fast and secure the first shipment. Um, take your time and make sure it's everything perfect. Secure the second shipment. Getting caught will be disastrous. Extract the agent. Mission complete. I'm going to take... Take my time, make sure everything's perfect. Research complete. Dust repulsion. So, solar panels are gla gradually cleaned from dust when closed, resulting in less frequent maintenance. Cool. All right, let's get that text message dealt with. So we have another hub here. Yay. And they're going to start bringing over materials for this project. Unfortunately, this is going to take time without the artificial muscles technology. Whoops. And note, I haven't found much in the way of scannables in a while, so I'm hoping to get some of that soon. Um, 
Get one more waste rock in there. We should be able to crank out another rare metal. Research complete. All right, now we can get rid of those two out here that we don't need anymore. Get rid of them. All right, we'll send some back. Getting the metals over there, that's kind of just a waste right now. They need to be sending stuff over here. Okay, we're making a few polymers here. We're producing food, which is good. Um, making some uh, research. How many kids we have? Just one. Yay, tiny art store. <laughs> and building performance is... Uh, the service comfort is great on this. So, average comfort's increasing quite a bit. Um, we have two children born in the colony. Yay. Which I think is... Where's the blue shirt? Mariana Planet. She doesn't have... I need to get her into a school. Because it's hippie, Martian-born. Problem is, I don't want her to be an idiot. Kind of a big problem. This thing's just going to keep popping up. Yes, it works. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It's going to keep going for a while like that. I'm actually going to open up a second shift in here. No, I'm not. I was hoping that I was going to be able to pull a second shift on that one. So plenty of extra power right now, which is great. Twenty six people. All right. Let's see what are the new things we have here? Build menu, research, the command center. They have done an overhaul on this as well. Done. Um, we're not going to get the sponsor goals. Kind of sucks. Um, we can make a run for scan all sectors since the U.S. does not have a colony here. Uh, the colonist goals. That one we're going to make a we're going to make a hard push to get those. Sectors. But I'm thinking we should put more batteries down. Let's see. Actually, let's put some more piping out here. Large oxygen tank. Oh, this is a new one. Funding received. We haven't had a large O2 tank before. That's kind of cool. And I'm actually going to uh, put that down here. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, more technologies, more buildings we get to take a look at. Large wind turbines. I forgot about this one. Um, generates power, increased elevation. It's a, it's a triangle one. But you can't uh, change the direction on it. So I'm going to put it here. And then I'll put another wind turbine here. The main reason I was building out this way in the first place is to drop down another vaporator. And put it there. So this one actually produces 10 power. Uh, when it's going. Got another vaporator out here, which is good. And let's drop down. We have a surplus on oxygen, so I do want to drop down some more O2 tanks. I'll put those over here, I guess. And for power, I'm low on accumulators, but I does not care. Hopefully these polymers have been delivered to the build site. They have, all right. So we just need to move 19 concrete over. And with this concrete deposit gone, I'm probably safer putting concrete here. Just putting a depot on this section. 
would be best. I'm actually going to turn the food off on these central ones. Because, yep, there's food out here for some dumb reason. We need to get the we need to keep the food by the domes for obvious reasons. All right, so let's take a look at the schools. What we're gonna need to, uh, to put them on play: twenty concrete, got it. Six electronics. Gonna be running a little tight on them. We've got enough fuel for one more trip. And I'm realizing now I uh, sent that rocket back with supplies on it. Didn't mean to. I'm just going to bring Lance one back so we can do some trading. Yeah, I mean, the amount of metals we have is beautiful right now. So we've got a passage here. I can bring it probably straight across and drop it in on this dome, and we'll be good to go with that. Dome passages. I'm going to do the... There we go. It's already hooked up. Alright, that's just mainly... I'm just going to go with the clear ones right now. That's mainly just so I can see into each of the domes. Um, let's put a school down here. And we also need to get the electronics factory built over here. Spy Games reaps more rewards. The cargo pods are above our colony and fully under our control. This brazen act of theft has raised several flags, but our agent assesses she is still in the clear. They are in good position to do real harm now. With enough information and network access, agent standards can perform coordinated or massive sabotage operations around Russia's colony. Uh, make sure to do as much damage as possible. Cripple them. The action may fail. Make the sabotage targeted and coordinated. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Or our agent has done enough extractor. Um, just gonna take, I'm still wanna go after him, but I'm gonna go for the low risk options on this. Sector scan. Whoa! Found. I didn't realize there was that much coming in. Hell yeah. Alright. I'm bringing all three of them down. It's okay if they all come in the same area. That is bitchin'. That is, oh. 25, 25 of each of the advanced resources. Like that. I love it. Alright, I want to put a living complex down here for people. Oh, this is a little living quarter. A little triangle. Alright, and damn it. <laughs> Oh, wh what? Holy cow, we have people working over here. That's cool. Um, so yeah, we now have a very tight balance of what we have to what we need. That is cool. I'm, I'm, I'm loving how the game is just like going with these balances now. And I wasn't expecting people to be working over here. This building's full. But I do want to get a rare metals extractor going because we've got to get some rare metals uh, pumping here. All right, so I need to build it over on this side to get people from both domes. All right, I want to bring this rocket down. And we're almost done with productivity training, which will give our engineers and geologists a beast. There's the mega storage tanks. Um... Do want to go for those at some point, too. I'm going to queue up apartments after utility crops. And then we'll go low G drive, I guess. Alright, so let's go to the planetary screen. So Japan, we are in good standing with them. We have good standing with them. We actually have really good standing with Russia. So let's actually talk to the Europeans. Um, yeah. 
Actually, no, that's pretty bad, because that's a huge one. Uh, stem reconstruction is massive. Um, we'll send 50 in exchange for that. I'm not up for trading a bunch of research to him right now. Alright. What about initiating a trade? 50 electronics for 132 metals? Done. Wait, what? Oh no, we have to give them that. Screw that noise. Yeah, we can do that. So, we'll put a bunch of concrete on it. They'll send us some metals. It's going to improve our standing with them. And we actually have to kick this guy on. Because we do need to uh, keep the things moving. Alright, and we're going to go for religious. Productivity training. Awesome. So it said I had a rocket on Earth? I don't. Oh, available supply pods. That's what it said. This rocket is servicing a trade route with a rival colony. As long as the trade route exists, it will keep exchanging resources. Okay. That's weird, because I hit P for planetary view, and it's pulling up the rockets. Um, do we have any other... Oh, yep, we do have an expedition back here. Um, five crew... And 12 hours. Uh, this one needs a botanist. I could go for... Um, I may go for Project Babylon. Uh, once this expedition gets back. Hopefully we'll be creating... Uh, rare metals by then. And pumping some out of the ground. So we can... Start sending a lot back to Earth. We're at Soul 30 now. Which means we did miss out on this one. For the reward of 10 free supply pods. But we're going to keep plugging away on these ones. These ones are... Essentially, evergreen goals, we can do them at our leisure. Yeah, this thing. Just keep... Just keep the trash going to them. And look, we have geologists there. You are... Why are you not in... I'm actually going to restrict this to specialists only. And just make sure we've got people working up there. ton of food just popped out. That's great news for us. Alright, um, just need two more concrete, and Lance One's going to be heading over to the Japanese colony and trading some stuff. There he goes. Sector scanned. Right. For these guys, I'm actually going to do the upgrade on all of my vaporators. Because I've got to get more water in this colony. Good. We're getting kids taught. At some point will come a Martian University, but for now... Anomaly analyzed. Boosh. Come on back here, please. Alright, so, returning from the colony with 32 and a half metals, that's fine. We've got a decent amount of concrete, or a decent amount of, uh... Decent amount of things that we need to, uh... Okay, those actually need concrete. The passages are free, the ramps are not. Alright. Operation Spy Games continues to prove itself an incredibly potent program. By sabotaging factories, the electrical grid, and also pipeways all at once, our agent has seriously hindered Russia's progress. Their entire colony is on heightened security alert, and any further operations can carry considerable risk. This being said, Agent Sanders, that could be capitalized too, just neither here nor there, informs us of a very valuable breakthrough technology that Russia recently researched. Better yet, it's within our grasp. I'm going for it, because why not? Maybe. I think it failed. What happened to it? 
I'm a little nervous. I really don't know what happened. So we cancel the expedition. This is actually something automated you could do. Oh yeah! Operation Spy Games accomplished, has accomplished all it could. We have a stolen priceless technology and have extracted Agent Sanders. She should be back home in no time. Mission complete. Research complete. <gasps> Hell yes! Wait a minute. Let's, let's get the appropriate response for this. There we go. All right. So we got a free breakthrough out of this. We got our colonist back. Sector scanned. Anomaly. Found. We have a. Yeah. All right. Um, wait a second. If we're going to go for a technology, I want it to be for something that... Um, I want to put it towards something we can actually heavily utilize. Um, hmm. I'm actually... No. I think we need to go for the storage tanks. And then Loji High Rise. Okay. I don't know why this rocket is servicing. Incoming. Uh oh. We're gonna have problems next episode. Okay, let's go to the planetary view because I want to actually do this one. Yeah, I've got a rocket. There it goes. Weird! Game just- okay, that was actually a, a glitch that I uh, saw there. I'll probably have to report that one over. Alright, we're gonna send Project Babylon for the next one. It is taking a little bit of time for things to uh, click over, but in the next episode, we're gonna go for that. We're gonna have to deal with the meteor storm. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need definitely some redundancy. And we just gotta hope that uh, not everything's gonna get, you know, exploded upon. Alright. Let's create this redundancy now. Between the buildings. And uh, next episode we'll get this going. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.